Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain to you one of the basic financial functions in Microsoft Excel. It is SLN function. What does SLN function do? If you are from accounting background, you may be very familiar with property plant and equipment. There we learn a concept called depreciation. According to IAS 16 definition, depreciation is the systematic allocation of the depreciable amount of an asset over its useful life. So there are various methods to calculate depreciation amount of particular asset. One of them is stretch line method and it is identify equal amount from depreciable amount as depreciation over assets useful life. So this SLN function support us to calculate the depreciation amount of an asset for each period using Microsoft Excel. Then by doing this simple activity, we will see how to calculate depreciation amount of an asset for each year based on a stretch line method using SLN function. As primary requirements for the calculation of depreciation of a particular asset, you can see here I summarize the cost of the asset, its useful life and salvage value or the assets value at the end of its useful life. And there is another table for illustration purpose with a column for our target outcome of depreciation amounts for each year. Then start with entering the function. First select cell H7 to H17 where we want to place our outcome and go to formula bar and enter equal sign. Then type SLN and open the bracket. Now we have to specify the cell which contain the cost of the asset. Then select cell E5 and enter dollar signs for its cell reference to lock the cell and add a comma. Next we have to specify salvage value of the asset. Then select E7 cell and enter dollar signs for its cell reference and again add the comma. Finally we have to specify useful life of the asset then select cell E6 and enter dollar sign and close the bracket. So now we have done with entering the function and now press control and enter keys. So you can see calculated stretch line depreciation amounts appeared in second column of the table. Further we'll do some other calculations to verify our outcome. For that we'll look at the book value column. Here in this column we should specify the book value of asset at the end of each period after depreciating the asset. Here year 0 is the starting point of the first period then year 0 book value is equal to the cost of the asset since there is no depreciation amount. Then simply enter equal sign in cell I6 and select E5 cell and press enter. Now original cost is appeared in cell I6. Then we will calculate book value at the end of each period using simple formula. For that select cell I6 to I14 and enter equal sign in formula bar. Since the book value at the end of each period is equal to the book value at the beginning of the period minus depreciation amount for the period, select I6 cell then add a minus sign and select H7 cell where depreciation amount for the period mentioned. Then press control and enter key. Now you can see the book value at the end of 8th period of this asset is equal to 50,000. It means the calculation of stretch line depreciation using SLN function is correct because the book value at the end of 8th period is equal to the salvage value of the asset. So you also can practice this activity by your own by downloading this worksheet from the link mentioned in the description. Then this is the end of this video and thanks for watching. We'll meet again with another video. Goodbye.